Ladies and gentlemen, good morning and welcome back to the channel. So I'm pulling up to Rodeo and Rigs here in a minute, bright and early on this Saturday morning. If you guys know me, I am not a morning person whatsoever. I texted Derek just now too, by the way, and he was like, dude, it is crowded. Derek pulled up at like 6.30 this morning to get a good spot in there. He said it's really crowded right now, so we'll see what happens as far as parking goes, but we'll be there in two minutes. A little rip. Oh my goodness. Looks like straight pandemonium up in there. Look at Derek putting that work. Yeah, buddy. Gosh, you're working out here. This thing's nice, yeah, dude. So, that yeah. so that's Reese's truck. Super nice. He has the dry carbon uh, NY top fender flares in this one right here. Derek, you know, there's, there's always something more you can do, you know? Stay tuned. Stay tuned. Nice. Yeah, this thing's sick though. It also has the centric DVA bumper. Pretty sweet. Talk about lightweight. This whole this whole thing's carbon. That is wild, dude. I've counted 28 lights so far here in the front of this Tundra. Let's keep counting. 29, 30, 31, 32 on the sides, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38. This is clearly Tundra parking only out here. Where are you at, Derek? I think I see you. Right there. Right there. Right there. Look at this color right here. There she is. Looking prime, looking all spiffy, looking all cleaned up for once. Ah, never mind. For once. Kind of, sort of. Where'd you find this? Uh, Crystal bought it at the uh, LA Auto Show. Is it in Lunar also? It's the same color and everything. Yeah. That's so funny. Oh my goodness. Half Mag Tundra? You know, we right have uh, full Mag Tundra on Instagram, famous, <laughs> and uh, we were at half, just half the items that he has. Half the items that full Mag yeah. Tundra has, Isaiah. So you got the Kings with the Total Chaos. Got the Kings. Kings Isaiah for the recommendation. On the Total Chaos upper control arms and the King suspension. A little pokey poke going on here though. Negative 12. Negative 12, wow. It's crazy on these trucks how even a zero sticks out. That's crazy. You need yeah. so much positive to, to sit in the fenders. Full tour of the half mag. <laughs> Selena's tire wheel in Westminster really quick. You guys already know exactly where to go to wheel shop, dude. They have so many wheels here on display. So I told you I'm doing the blue wrap, right? Mm -hmm. So I'll have a new color pretty soon-ish. What do you think about going polished? Honestly, I think polish goes with like any color. Polish, like dude. Polish making a comeback, too. Oh, yeah. The machine lip on the black face on it's pretty cool, but the whole machine look, I don't know, it just looks so... Yeah. No, I'll stick with this. Looks oh, so good. I don't know about that black and machine look versus the machine look might be the way to go on that one right there i feel yeah, like definitely. i don't know that's nice too uh we'll see i don't know more to come on that max pulled up in the in the trd tundra with the tailgate delete yeah tailgate how's that delete, how's that bro. arrow treating you uh, how's the yeah. mpg increase or what yeah dude it, it feels like 20 pounds lighter general grabber 35s on what 18 inch methods 17 oh, 17 zero offset a little poke yeah, that's a good look nice setup dude well done so now I'm driving down to the dealership that I bought this truck from, Toyota of Orange. You guys remember, I didn't plan to buy this truck actually. I test drove a Tundra TRD Pro, same color, um, same year too, I believe. It was a 23 also. Um, but it had like, I think, eight or 10,000 miles on it, somewhere around there. And they wanted, um, like, I think it was four grand or something like that over MSRP for a used one, right? And I saw one rolling into Toyota of Orange and I was like, well, let me go down there and talk to him. Toyota of Orange is very, very fair um, and very reasonable. So I was very happy to uh, have them work with me. That was awesome. So yeah, I bought the TRD Pro and now I'm taking it back to them to get the service done. I'm really curious what they think of how it looks right now because it looks a little bit different these days. Just a little bit, just a little bit. You guys remember Marco? 
Marco sold so Marco sold again. me the TRD Pro. Marco uh, made it happen. Made what do you, what do you, what do you think mean, now? Look at this beast. Look Looks amazing. a little bit different now, right? 100%. Look at those wheels. Everything, wheels. everything's different, wow. dude. Put a wrap on it, the new bumper, That's wheels, amazing. tires, rock sliders, lights. Looks great. Hard, can... to, hard to recognize, huh? Oh, it is. <laughs> I love the bumper. Yeah, the bumper is sick, huh? It's a it's a pre-production final version for Smitty Built. Wow. So yeah, that's that's really, the one really, they're putting really in production nice. soon. I but yeah, it works it works really nice in the front. Love it. I just <laughs> it looks sick. It looks the whole. This is the one you <laughs> sold me. It's hard to yeah, believe, no, huh? It's hard to believe. I love the colors. Really yeah, the ride. colors. Yeah, the colors nice. Also, I like the you know the accent on the wheel. Yeah, I match the wheels. I match the wheels. I match the wheels. Yeah. I don't is know. that painted or or you got a wrap? It's a it's a vinyl wrap. Oh nice. Yeah, I wrapped it myself. Yeah, so it's uh, matte, iced, amber, titanium. What about the suspension? I looked, it's a little higher. It's at, yeah, so new suspension. Well, same suspension, but it's it's just raised up a little bit with a preload collar in the front and a spacer in the rear. Oh, okay. Yeah, awesome. so it's an inch in the rear, two and a half in the front. You guys are getting Tacoma soon, right? Yeah, we're actually, uh, I called you the other day. We yeah, have a did few you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah that's right. coming. Uh, we have on the nice colors. We have a solid octane coming. I want to say like the first week of January, second week of January, we're going to have January? A Dude, that's coming up. So, that's in a few weeks. Yes, just like, right, like two weeks. That is awesome, January. dude. I can't wait. That's exciting. Yeah, when you get that thing in, let me know. Of I want to. I want to come see it and come drive it. Of course. I'll be hopping in the Sequoia. You're gonna be the first person to get on that TRD Pro. <laughs> That'd be sick. Add it to the uh, the fleet. That'd be awesome. What's uh, what's going on here? Someone owns it, right? This is yours. Yeah. This thing's awesome. Oh, they are awesome. Yeah. Yeah, I was checking it out. Yeah. Yeah. Get it. Like full of junk, but I mean. It's it's pretty. Yeah, I like your interior too. I think this white one comes only with this interior. Yeah. So it's all white on white. Yeah, it's really 20,000 miles already. You're driving this thing. Wow. Yeah, it's really nice. Got the pan roof in this one. The black headliner too is really nice. Yeah. That's awesome. Yeah, I have the TRD Pro next to you right here. Oh my And it's yeah, that's this is mine right here. It is a wrap. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, this thing's really this nice. The TRD Pro because the next one past this, but they're really hard to get. I think the capstone's really nice too, though. Oh, it's you got a lot of nice like yeah. amenities and yeah, stuff I'm on it. Young guys like you gotta drive TRD Pro. <laughs> Old guys like me drive TRD. Gotta have that comfort, <laughs> all the all the creature comforts, right? You know how they run them. The thing's got so much power. Yeah, it is. It does. It's hybrid too, though, right? Yes. Yeah. yeah same this motor. thing's really nice. Same motor yeah, right same thing. Yeah, yeah that's sick. All the way down sport, sport mode, plus. I do it all the time. Oh, Sport Plus. The, the, the Porsche can't keep up with you. It's no, I know. Awesome. They rip. Yeah, they rip. Up next to a line, I love it. I get up some Carrera or something. Yeah. Can't keep up with it. Yeah. <laughs> that's awesome. Yeah, that's fun. Yeah. For sure. Later. All right, now let's pull this thing up to service. Got a little busier, that's for sure. When I pulled in, it was pretty much dead. Now it is slammed. All right, guys, now we are at the Home Depot. So I have the truck serviced today, but it wasn't an oil change. It wasn't an actual service. It was a tire rotation, which sounds kind of dumb to go to the dealership for, especially considering I just put the tires on. The reason why I did is because with warranties, particularly when you have a warranty intact, you have to make sure you step on the um, the services. But also too, when it comes to resell, you know, I want to have every 5,000 miles have a service on there because the truck does call for a 5,000 mile service plus the on the dash there it says service is due so that'd be on there forever probably yeah so it does call for a 5,000 mile service but first 5,000 a basically an inspection and then a tire rotation um then 10,000 miles is the oil change 15,000 miles i think your four-wheel drive shaft gets lubricated and torqued down or something like that but um that's also just a tire rotation and then 20,000 miles is another oil change um but yeah every 10,000 miles is the actual oil change um, otherwise, it's just inspections and, and tire rotations pretty much. Anyways, we're at Home Depot right now. I'm gonna grab one of the bolts off my wheels here. Try to find some black ones um, without going through the actual wheel company to get those because they're a bit more expensive, I'm sure, and cheaper here at Home Depot. So. Alright 
right guys, it is the next day and I'm pretty sure Method Race Wheels is making their own hardware because I couldn't find that size um, in a metric or a standard. I'm pretty sure Method pulled a fast one on us and you have to buy these from them, which I was trying to avoid doing because I don't want to drop the money on replacing that the lip bolt kit on these wheels that I'm selling soon anyways. I'm going with some new wheels and tires here pretty soon. Um, not too sure on the wheels quite yet. I'm thinking maybe doing some bead locks with the machine finish also, something just completely different. Uh, here for the TRD Pro. The tires though, I'm doing the Toyo RT trails. I have the tires picked out in a 37 inch um, on either a 17 or an 18. I'm thinking about the 17 inch KMC bead locks, either these right here or these right here. I think that'd be an absolutely epic setup right there. Not too sure yet though. I'm not, I'm, there's more to come. I don't know. I'm not positive. See about that. Depends if I want to drop the beadlock money on some beadlocks because they come with the beadlock price, obviously. So either way, new wheels and tires are coming before we go down to the Pismo Dunes, which we might not be doing next week anymore because there is some rain in the forecast, which kind of does put a uh, little bit of a, a damper on the plans a little bit. So we might wait till after the first of the year possibly, or maybe just go to Utah instead and, and do that before the first of the year. I'm not too sure. It's all up in the air right now, but all I know is new wheels and tires are coming before one of those places we go to, either Utah or Pismo. Hopefully the weather changes because weather ain't looking too good right now. It's a little bit, uh, a little bit clapped out looking up there. So hopefully the rain clears up next week and we are good to go for Pismo Dunes on some new wheels and tires and uh, go tear it up. Have some. Fun. I love the dunes. The dunes to me are so much fun. You guys were there the very first time I went to the dunes in my 2022. Tundra, the SR5, I didn't plan to like really go into the dunes. I was driving through the dunes on the way home, so I hit it really quick. I didn't air down. Yes, I got dogged for it. I know, trust me. Yeah, the dunes are really, really fun to me. I can't wait to go back to the dunes. If I don't go to the Pismo dunes, I'm going down to probably San Hollow again. And this time we'll take the TRD Pro because as you guys seen, um, when we went there last time in the SR5, it was struggling like crazy to get through the sand it was overheating had a lot of fun going down to uh, rodeo and rigs that was an awesome time amazing turnout i mean there was a ton of people there i met a lot of cool people saw a lot of cool builds also too got the first service done here on the trd pro which wasn't really a service it was a tire rotation which means they put the front tires there in the rear and the rear tires in the front because the front tires wear faster than the rears so to keep them balanced they have to put the rears in the front and the front in the back so yeah it wasn't really a service but it's still a service record which i want to you know keep up with doing a service every 5,000 miles to maintain the value of this truck in the long term it's always going to have more services than not so hope you guys enjoyed i'll see you guys soon Till then peace